It takes 12 years and currently $2 billion to develop a new drug. And that to me is unacceptable in where we are at in modern medicine now. I think that the root cause of that is because most of the decisions that are made on which drugs to bring into clinical trials are based on packets of data that are generated from animal testing. And we all know that animals uh, are not humans. And so we believe that by creating uh, really innovative and cutting edge human tissue models, we can accelerate the drug development process, we can lead to better medicines reaching their patients faster and safer. MedTech Life Sciences was founded in 1985 by a couple of professors uh, coming from MIT. Um, they had developed a uh, polymer surface modification technology to grow uh, human cells on plastic scaffolding. And so they began to develop their first human skin model. Since then, we've developed uh, 15 different tissue models now based on that similar technology. And we're selling the quantities of about 20,000 uh, tissues per month. We're working with uh, the chemical industries, the pharmaceutical industries, and, and government agencies. In fact, we call 15 of the top 20 pharmaceutical companies our, our main customers, and, and similar to that in the cosmetic industry, about 15 of the top 20 cosmetic industries are also um, our, our main customers. We have two facilities, uh, one here in Massachusetts, another in Slovakia. In addition to all the equipment to produce our tissues, we also provide contract testing for OECD and EPA test guidelines, and we're now offering histology services as well. MadTech tissues are certified and regulated uh, by our quality management system, which is intended to comply with uh, 21 CFR Part 820, as well as ISO 9001. Tissues that we produce at MadTech are epiderm, uh, epiderm full thickness, epioral, epigingival, epiocular, epivaginal, and epiintestinal. Some of our key products, epiderm and epiocular, are approved for OEC test guidelines for skin irritation, skin corrosion, eye irritation, and phototoxicity. MadTech is making a difference with its products because I think we're doing a really good job of making lab-grown human tissues accessible to everyone. There's very little equipment that's needed to grow these tissues uh, and, you know, just basic biology skills. Lab-grown human tissues improve the quality of research because we're looking at better translatability. We're looking at using something that's made from human cells to make human tissues to ultimately test products that are made for human use. A pre-intestinal tissue model is a human uh, 3D-based uh, tissue model uh, that mimics the, the gut environment. Uh, and this tissue model is developed using primary human uh, intestinal tissues for uh, drug permeation, drug-drug interaction, uh, drug metabolism, host pathogen interaction, and also uh, for disease modeling. The intestinal tox assay was developed as uh, to test investigational drugs from the pharmaceutical companies, and it is validated in collaboration with AstraZeneca. So they pulled out about 31 drugs, 14 of which were showing adverse effects on humans, and 17 of them were well tolerated in humans. We tested those drugs on our tissue model, and we were able to predict correctly about 84% of these drugs. So that is a high percentage of prediction power. Every year, we put on the market new models. This year, at the SOT, we will present two models very important for pharma and, and, and systemic toxicity, the liver and the kidney. We engage a lot of, of scientific collaboration with uh, specific customers to demonstrate the applicability for specific need of our models uh, in, in, uh, in an industry. So it's really to be connected, to be able to listen uh, and also, we need to communicate and we need to educate. Education is really important. Matek is uh, committed for a long time to do uh, uh, presentation, demonstration, trainings. And we developed recently also a new masterclass with a partnership with some university, a big university such as the Paris Sorbonne in, in, in Paris, where we give some curriculum designed for the next generation of scientists in order to also to enlarge the application of this method in the future. MadTech is going to continue to be a leader for better science by sticking to our bioconvergence agenda as technologies such as tissue engineering, bioprinting, liquid handling, and microfluidics continue to advance. We look to move those forward together 
to not only improve toxicology, but also to improve life-changing treatments. Our ultimate goal over the next five years is to uh, try to eliminate the laboratory animal as the go-to standard for pharmaceutical drug development. Um, and to do that, we plan on uh, developing several more organ systems um, in culture and then uh, uh, developing a platform to string all of those organs together and so that they would communicate as they would in the human body.